Welcome back. I'm Hala Garani reporting live from Lviv, Ukraine. A major shift in Russia's stated goals for its war on Ukraine, just as its advances on major cities stall. A top Russian general claims that the first stage of this invasion is complete, according to Russia, and that efforts will now focus on eastern Ukraine and, quote, the liberation of the Donbass. That is the region with the two Russian-backed self-declared republics. That had been secured already. A senior U.S. defense official says Russian forces around Kyiv are in defensive positions and that all ground movements towards the capital have stopped, although long-range strikes and air attacks are continuing. Now, take a look at these new satellite images of the Russian ship destroyed in a southern Ukrainian port controlled by the Russians. It is one of the counterattacks touted by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. He says Russian forces will be met with resistance everywhere. Listen. I am grateful to our defenders who showed the occupiers that the sea will not be calm for them, even when there is no storm, because there will be fire. As on those Russian ships that departed this week from the famous route from the port of Bedryansk. Well, the Russian advance on Kyiv may be halted for the moment, but Ukrainians are not letting their guard down. Fred Plekin shows us how the capital is preparing for what comes next. The Ukrainian capital, Kiev, is still very much on a war footing. We're right in the city center, and as you can see, there's a tank barrier that was set up here with sandbags, obviously a defensive position, and this is something that you really see throughout the entire city with a lot of checkpoints, uh, a lot of soldiers on the ground, defense forces uh, as well. And just to give you an idea, we are literally in the city center over there. You see the Maidan, of course, right in the middle of uh, the Ukrainian capital. Yeah, at the same